the craziest skate injury I've ever had is probably breaking my ankle. I fell from the top of a rail one time and smashed my face pretty good and got like 100 stitches. I've broken my hand three times all skating. I broke my ankle and I have uh, two screws on one side and a plate on the other. When I knocked out my tooth, because now like, I look really bad, <laughs> kind of like a hillbilly. I was just trying a trick that I've done before and it wasn't that hard of a trick. And I just landed wrong and just slid back, cracked my skull in. I was just throwing up and coughing up blood and didn't know what was happening. I didn't know where I was, not my name, what the day was, anything. And then they had to give me surgery on my head and cut my skull out and put a metal plate in my head and then just stapled it back up. We kind of, at first, we all thought we were going to wear helmets and like everybody was going to start like like protecting themselves with helmets and I don't know, it was the case for like like two, three weeks and then everybody kind of got over it. You just don't look cool with helmets. It kind of like shows like that you're a little more scared than everyone else. You don't come to the skate park all padded up like a transformer. <laughs> I think it's kind of uncomfortable. It's kind of like super lumbering. It's sometimes it's like inconvenient to wear it. I know I'm gonna have arthritis like every part of my body when I'm older, but it's just like YOLO, live it up, you're young. I'm Neil Mims and I'm a professional skateboarder. Injuries are a part of skateboarding and I've had concussions with a helmet on and it's just one of those things that you never know when it's gonna happen, how it's gonna happen, or how bad it's gonna be, whether you have pads on or not. I've broken a wrist with a wrist guard on. Helmets can save and they can be helpful. And yes, I enforce it on the younger generation, but it's just one of those things, you know, that you can't control teenagers and what they're gonna do away from their parents. So they're just gonna do what they wanna do. I was just too ignorant to actually listen to my mom um, she always told me to wear a helmet a lot and I didn't think it was cool. He was near death and it was a scary, scary moment for me. All of his friends supported him, they all shaved their heads along with him and they were all scared and started wearing their helmets and now it's just kind of old news and you know when you're growing up you think that you're invincible and that you're going to be there forever and nothing's going to happen, it does happen. Now that this happened, she's a lot more scared and she just refuses to like watch me skate because she's afraid I'm going to get hurt every time I go. If what happened to Chase happened to me, I would definitely wear a helmet. I'd probably quit skating. I don't know how Chase has like that like just will to keep doing it. It's amazing. But. I'd probably wear a helmet just like Chase is right now because I'd just probably be really scared if like what if it happened again. And... I feel that I'm definitely going to keep wearing a helmet because I could even start a new trend bringing helmets back. I wear my helmet because I don't want to hurt my head and I always want to be safe. Like if you want to be safe, no one's going to go up to you and be like, wow, like you're wearing a helmet like, and call you names. It's not really that big of a deal. It's like you wear a helmet, good for you. You're not going to hit your head and bust your skull open. I still get the same adrenaline rush even when I wear my helmet. It doesn't really make a difference to me. This injury has definitely not stopped me from doing what I love to do and I'm going to keep skating for the rest of my life.